Hey everyone, how's it going? So last time we output this Yahoo message right here, what we're going to do now is actually work on outputting a page to the user instead of just a string. So we're going to use something called uh, template engines here. A template engine is just basically a way of using template files to create your web page or to show your content. So uh, a template, if you think of it like a, a just a, a normal HTML page, which has placeholders for a bunch of data that we're going to pass from our server. Don't worry about it, that will all become clear to you as we do this. So don't worry about understanding that just yet. But just know that we're using templates to show our web pages. Now using template engines is a very common and almost recommended way to show content from your web apps. Um, and there are a bunch of different template engines you can use. We're going to use one called Pug, you know, Pug like the dog, P-U-G. Um, and but like I said, there are a bunch of other ones out there. You can use one called Handlebars, I think is another popular one. Um, each one essentially does the same thing as far as you're concerned, but uh, the uh, syntax can be slightly different in the templates themselves. But Pug is a very popular one. It's a very good one. Um, I think it was previously called Jade, um, so you might have heard of that. But um, we are going to use Pug in this, and I think it's quite a nice one. So the first thing we need to do is tell our server which template engine we're going to use. Now we can do that by saying app.set inside there, put view engine. So we're setting the view engine as pug like this. So we've told our server to use uh, pug as the view engine. Now, of course, we need to install this. So go down to the terminal and type in npm install and then pug like that. Okay, great. We've installed it. There are no errors. Got a couple of warnings, I think, but it, that's fine. Ignore those. And then underneath that, we're going to uh, tell our server where to look for these pug files when it wants to use it. So when it wants to render some content, uh, we're going to tell it where to go to get these templates from. So we'll say app.set and then uh, views and then views again. So we've got the same string twice there. But what this means, uh, it's saying um, when you need a view or you know when you need a template as far as you're concerned, um, go to the folder called views. Now we don't have this yet, so let's go ahead and create it. So down here, I'll create a new folder and I'll call this views. All right, create a views folder, great. Um, and then inside that folder, what I'm gonna do is create a new file. So I've created a new file now inside the views folder, and I'm going to save this as home.pug. So these pug files, these template files themselves, have a .pug extension. You know, it's how the little dog there, a little pug icon. I do like that. Um, so basically, this is where the template file itself will go, uh, and it will render this when we use the the uh, the home pug template. So let's render some content now, and uh, don't worry, I know you guys probably have never heard of or even used or seen Pug before, um, but it's really quite easy to understand if you have a basic knowledge of HTML, at least. So you will understand this and you'll learn how to use it just by moving through the course in these videos. So you really don't need to stress out too much about having to understand this first. Um, it will become clear as we use it in the course. Um, but just to give you a quick overview, in a normal HTML file, we'd create tags like this, wouldn't we? Um, using the angle brackets, and then maybe we'd put a closing one on there as well. You know, and if we want to create uh, divs and spans, it'd be like this and stuff like that. Um, but it, we do that slightly differently in, in template files such as Pug. So Pug in particular, um, if you want to create an HTML tag, you just press HTML like that. That's it. So what will happen is Pug, when it renders this, will see this. Uh, and it will convert it to HTML tags um, when it renders the page. So this will become uh, the version with the angle brackets when it renders it. All right, but um, that's how you do it. And one thing to be aware of is it's very important to get your indentations correct in Pug. Indentations, so you know the spaces, if I tab across, uh, this indentation here is key for how it renders the page. So if it sees an indent, uh, it, it thinks this uh, this element we're putting right here belongs inside of the HTML tag. Okay, so inside the HTML tag, we would often have a head tag. And then inside here, we'd have a title tag. So what I'll do is I'll go to the new line, press tab, it'll move across. Uh, and then we will have a title tag like this. Now, if you want to add some text to this, um, you just do a space and then write your text here. So we'll say... Welcome. Oh, if I can spell welcome. Welcome, like this. Don't worry, we're going to replace this with some content, uh, some dynamic content later on. But for now, let's just put a title as welcome. 
Uh, and then let's add a body tag here. So what we're going to do is go to the new line. Now currently we're inside the head tag. That's what this indentation means. Now the body doesn't go in the in the head tag. So we're going to go uh, back to here. So press backspace, move move the uh, cursor to here, and let's put a body tag there. So now the body tag isn't in the head tag. It's inside the HTML tag. All right, and then just real quick, we're going to render some simple text. Let's just say H1 and then space and put some text in there. Uh, this is awesome. All right, give it a save. And I will show you what this looks like in a second, but essentially it's going to convert all of these into their HTML tags. So before we see this, we need to tell it to use this file when we render the page. So um, in app.js, we're going to scroll down. And instead of uh, sending Yahoo, what we're going to do is uh, change this. We'll get rid of that, I should say. We're going to say dot render, render, and then put the name of the file, or the template file, I mean. So home like that, because we called it home.pug. Now, we don't need to specify dot pug, because um, we already told uh, our server that we're going to use pug as a template engine, so it already knows what extensions to look for. So we can just specify the name of the file only. Let's give that a save. Uh, and let's say npm start and see what we get. So I'll go back to here. And if I refresh the page now, you'll see this is awesome. It worked. So it's rendered the template file itself. So if I uh, inspect that, what I did is I, I right clicked and pressed inspect. If you press F12, it will open this as well. Um, basically, you can see that it's took, it's taken this template file and it's rendered all the tags like this. So it's rendered the head tag, and inside that it's put the title tag and this, the body one right there. So just real quick, let me show you something about the indentation. Um, you don't have to copy this, just watch if you want. So I'm going to keep my indentation to there because remember, we want to render this in the body tag. If I came back to here and did something, it would render it inside the... Uh, it would render it alongside the HTML element. Okay, so we need to make sure we get the indentation right. So inside the body tag, I'm going to say div, and I'm going to put some text in there. Hi, and I put another div underneath that uh, with by like this. All right, so don't worry about what this looks like on the page. Uh, let me just restart this server. I'll go back to here and show you. Um, you can see hi and by, so uh, div right here with hi, and then one underneath that with by. But if I just if I take this one and press tab to move it across, you'll see it's going to render this inside of that div. So let me restart this server once more for you. We'll oh, have to save the file first. Save it, restart the server, um, and if I show you now, um, you'll see that hi is there, and then the div with by in it is inside of that div. So that's just a quick uh, example of how the uh, indentation works and how it's necessary to get it right. Okay, so uh, whew, that was a lot. That was a real quick overview of how template engines work. Like I said, don't worry too much about the syntax of Pug for now. Um, it's quite straightforward and it will become clear to you just by doing the course. All right. Um, yeah. Any questions at all? Just let me know.